Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. Something unprecedented happened last night, and Apple actually released an official full version of iOS 11.2 to the public at 4 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on a weekend. That is crazy. I don't know if you guys understand how crazy that is, but Apple really got on this bug that I reported on last night, and gosh, I am getting like no sleep because Apple keeps doing crazy stuff that I have to report on. So, okay, Apple releases iOS 11.2 with Apple Pay Cash, faster 7.5 watt wireless charging, date bug fix, and more. I predicted that iOS 11.2 would publicly release this coming Tuesday. However, this emergency release made them just push it out to everyone right away. And wow, I still, it's hard to believe that Apple pushed out an update on a weekend at 4 a.m. But anyways, in this, you'll obviously get Apple Pay Cash, which for some people is actually not working yet. Uh, we think that Apple Pay servers are actually not enabled right now just because you know it's a weekend. This wasn't actually supposed to go live yet. So I think they're holding off until early next week. So definitely be on the lookout for that on Monday or Tuesday. Apple Pay Cash is a huge deal in this update. Also, faster wireless charging speeds. Uh, if you guys apparently get uh, the Apple recommended Qi wireless chargers, which are the Belkin and the Mophie on their website and in their stores. I actually have the Mophie, so I can do some tests and let you know if it's any better. But preliminary tests from the betas show it's hardly faster, but I guess every little bit adds up every day. So that is awesome. Uh, and it also has a small bar underneath the logos up here to kind of let people know, hey, pull this down to get to your control center. And then when you disable, uh, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, it's going to pop up with this so that you don't actually think that you're turning off your Wi-Fi or Bluetooth because you're not. All it's doing is disconnecting temporarily, which I hate. I think Apple should change it back, but that's just my opinion. And then scrolling down here, they've got new sports sections. And then here are the release notes, as you can see. You guys can pause the video and read that if you want. And then as you can see right here, several reports that Apple Pay Cash is not available. But again, probably early next week, Monday or Tuesday, we will have that. But the main thing in this is it fixes that annoying bug that crashes your phone. This is the new fix. In my other video, I said to set your date back. Maybe that's good to do temporarily, but go download iOS 11.2 right now, update your phone. It's got a lot of security patches as well. So just cover your bases, get this update. It's a good one. Uh, the betas have been very smooth so far, so I don't see any reason that this one wouldn't be good. So I'm actually updating my iPhone right now as we speak. So. Go check out this update, guys. Fix your phones, and then remember to set your dates back. And that's all I got for this video, guys. If you appreciate the videos that we do of all of these updates of Apple news, rumors, and bugs, to keep you guys in the loop with all of it. If you appreciate that, hit this video with a big thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.